Little did I know from that assumption that banks could get in trouble and they would rather have my property than give me money on my property. Two words, write it down, put it next to your bed. I hide it all over the place, including on my phone, is radical humility. Radical humility. Humility, you need to ask people for help. The, the, the coolest thing about being your age is everybody my age wants to help you. And the bad thing about being your age is you think by asking for help that you're diminishing your capacity. I wish I would have asked for help. So I would have saved all my money. Um, and I know I didn't touch on this, John. I would like to right now. People don't make bad decisions. They make bad assumptions. True. I lost all my money not because I made a bad decision. I made one bad assumption and I lost everything. One bad assumption. Now, if I asked for help and had radical humility, I never would have made that assumption. But I made one bad assumption. So you've got to be more interested than interesting before you make, saying, what am I making this decision based on? What assumptions am I making it on? If you're a doctor, you could give 99 of the right things to do to someone, make one bad assumption, and they're dead. Oh, I just assumed it was on the left side. <laughs> right? Oh, I assumed they weren't allergic to that. Meanwhile, everything else you did, procedure, if everyone reads the checklist manifesto, it goes through how doctors are supposed to read through a checklist of like a hundred, just like pilots, pilots always look at the checklist when they're a passenger. But the pilot that is actually, right, they never look at the checklist, <laughs> right? Because they, they think they have it all under control. You got, the assumption I made, by the way, just so you, you know, because I like to pass on the lesson, is I always assumed that the bank would let me borrow against the, the equity I had, a secured interest. I just always assumed that I owned all this equity and property and that when hit, shit hit the fan, I'd just go borrow another 10 million and I'd be fine. Little did I know from that assumption that banks could get in trouble and they would rather have my property than give me money on my property. Right? Because they'd rather have my money, basically. And they'd rather say, nah, instead of letting you borrow that, I'd rather sell it to somebody else and keep all the money myself because we're going to foreclose on you. Bad assumption. And all I had to do is ask one person in finance going, dude, I own $100 million in property. Uh, I have about $40 million in equity. What's the best way that I can protect myself to make sure I'm liquid? And there's tons of people that could have answered that question for me. Radical humility. Always ask yourself, instead of, you gotta learn for yourself, but accelerate your learning by asking someone that sits in the situation that you wanna be in and learn from that as well as your experience. It's a bullshit answer. I wanna do it myself because I wanna experience myself. No, accelerate your experience by asking for help. That's bullshit. I lie to myself that way all the time. I gotta do it myself. No, I could have done it myself and been ahead of the ball game by asking smart guys like John saying, hey man, you've made millions of dollars. Can you help me do this? And then learn from what he tells me my own experience instead of, no, I'll do it myself, man. Your, your way must suck. <laughs> well, if it sucked, then learn that. What sucks? You could be, like I used to say, I have the best dad in the world because I learned how not to be a dad. Just saying. You can be used as a good example or a bad example, right? Great question.